we are going to use is Shimazu HVLC system. That is a prominence Shimazu HVLC system put with a solvent delivery unit uh, from A from B. This is detector by UB and this is the communicating bus and this is the color and this is the computer system for analysis. So the first step is to own the computer. We own the computer while it is booting, then maybe we start owning the machine. Uh, this is our already made mobile face that was already filtered and degassed, so it's ready for analysis. Usually there are three lines. First is line A. You can see it's labeled with A. This is for aqueous solvent, that is distilled water or buffer. There is any aqueous solvent that you are going to use in your HVLC analysis shall be mounted on this line, line A. And this is line B, purely for organic solvent, methanol, acetonitrile, or any other organic solvent that you are going to use in your HVLC analysis. So it's purely according to the method. And this line, the third line, is purely for cleaning and forging of the system. It's usually a mixture of methanol and distilled water in 50-50 ratio. Then our system is already on, so we are going to start owning the machine. There's a procedure for owning the machine, yes. First of all, you start with form A. From A, then you allow two seconds for the green light to appear. Then go to form B. You allow two seconds for the green light to appear. Then you come to auto sampler. You on the auto sampler. Also, you allow two seconds for the green light to appear. Then you come to column, column chamber. This is the column oven. Then you come to UB, prominence UB detector. You on the prominence UB detector. Then the last component is a prominence communication bus. So make sure that you align you align for the for the waste are uh, properly inserted a waste bottle that was properly labeled as a waste so that they can return the waste for later disposal so having done that then we come to the software we come to the software this is the software for Shimazu analysis. The name of the software is Love Solution. Click on the software, then click OK. Then having done that, make sure that the selection label is on the instrument. Then you click the instrument, double click on the instrument, then you allow it to boot and often. There will be a sound showing that there is a connection between the software and the HVLC system. Then the next step is to push the system because usually if the system has not been used for a few days, there is a chances of growth of bacteria in the lines of uh, the machine, especially in the aqueous line. So it's always advisable to push the system before you start analysis. To do that, we press often the from A. You have to switch anti-clockwise. You you turn it anti-clockwise to often the from A line. You also from uh, turn anti-clockwise for the from B. To often the line for forging. Having done that, then you press. There's a button here. Fudge. You press for line A and press for line B. 
immediately. Then you allow some few minutes for the machine to forge. Then you see the screen will uh, return back to its initial pace, showing this, uh, the, 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 the current stage of the form. So then you switch, you tighten the line clockwise, you tighten the line clockwise. From this stage, you can simply insert your sample, level sample into the auto sampler for analysis. This is the auto sampler, um, and this is uh, where we are going to the tray we are going to sample. Each tray has its own number, unique number. So make sure you always note the number. Today we are going to insert our sample into the uh, into the hole number one of tree one. Having done that, then you push back the tray into the auto sampler until you reach the end. Then you gently close the auto sampler. Close the sample, uh, I mean auto sampler nicely. Then this is the column that is going to fractionate your sample during the analysis. To use 150 mm column uh, C18 5 micrometer. Uh, the brand is symmetry. You can see that it's symmetry. Then we are going to remove the seal. It's always advisable after use you see of the column so that it will the silica will not dry off. We remove the for the film first. The film is removed from both sides. It is cut in the dustbin, then open the cuff. Keep it gently in the proper place. Open the lower cuff. Put it gently in the proper place. Then you see the direction of flow. This is the direction of flow. You see the arrow move look forward. So we are going to insert into the column chamber according to that direction. This is the column chamber. Then you detach the lines. Then you tighten the column. The lower part should because the flow is coming from the lower part. It's coming from the auto sampler to the uh, lower fat. We will check nicely until it reach the end. Make sure it reach the end so that you won't be having leakage. Then you Gently push it back to the in position in position in the column. Make sure it it is in the clips. It is in the proper clips of the column. So having done that, then you gently close the column chamber. Then you come back to the software. Before you start each analysis, you must wash your column for at least 10 to 20 minutes. So in doing that, to save the life of your detector, make sure the detector is switched off. You check that by coming to advance and you see it is showing switch off already. So we don't need to switch it on back. Then, before you do anything, you first switch on the instrument from the software. Click here, switch on the instrument. You allow the functions to turn color, blue color, meaning it is active. Uh, 
under flow of eighty percent organ uh, aqueous uh, mobile phase and twenty percent organ. Then you switch back to fifty 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 percent each. Let's see fifty percent each and click dialog. Click dialog. So after also ten minutes, then you can switch back to a eighty percent water and 20% organic solvent and click the as usual so so after that we are assured of the cleanliness of our boat HPLC line and our system so then to stop you click zero zero you have to stop the flow completely before you start your sample analysis click the alert so that the flow will come down to zero zero each method has its own uh, setting has its own setting which involve flow rate column temperature and uh, also injection volume and so on and so forth and also one thing i want to explain is that there are two methods of analysis. One is by isocratic illusion and the other is by gradient. So isocratic illusion uh, method in this demonstration. So when we stop when the floor is completely stopped, you can see that from, from A the the Flow is zero zero from from P. The flow is zero zero, and both pressure of from A and from P at at zero zero. So at that stage, you are very sure that the uh, the flow is stopped. Then, if the mobile pace in your a, a solvent delivery unit is different from the one you are going to use for your analysis then you have to replace the mobile phase with the appropriate mobile phase that you are going to use for your analysis before you start your sample analysis you rinse rinsing rinsing auto sampler so it will rinse up the auto sampler for you you just simply click here then you can hear the sound the auto sampler will rinse the bottle i mean the it will rinse the needles so that if there's any traces of the previous sample it will crush it away so that your sample will be free from any interference Replace the mobile first. After that, you have to repeat. You have to repeat the purging steps as we demonstrated earlier. So, uh, in our own case for today's demonstration, we are going to maintain the same mobile paste as we use for cleaning of our column, that is methanol and water. So, we then need to repeat the forging procedure. Instead, we are just going to do our analysis directly. We already mounted our sample in the auto sampler so we are just we already developed our method we have our detection 554 then we are and the method is already under a socratic flow that is it's already under a socratic mode so and um, our oven temperature we are going to set it as a uh, 30 35 degree Celsius that is our analysis temperature so once you make sure when you are sure that all the parameters are set including the LC analysis time which is in our case is 10 minutes it's 10 minutes also you must see the timing this is the time taken for the machine to fully analyze and elute your sample and generate the data for you to interpret 
So everything is set, then we are going to do the analysis. Single run in this case. You just click on single run, then you level your sample here. Then you locate where you need the machine to store your data for you. In our in case, maybe we just place it in a desktop. You paste the sample name here, then click open. You have any comment, then you add your comment for the sample. So then uh, you select the appropriate buy because our sample is placed on buy one, the tray is three one, then the Injection volume you have to level and define your injection volume. Now, in our case, is 10, so it's correct. So, when everything is set, everything is ready, you then you click OK. The machine will turn to zero from running. Previously, it will be showing here running, then now it's shown ready. So then you go and view your result. To view your result, you go back to the last solution software from the main main function. Then you come to this function now, post run. You click off first run, then you come to post run. There's another uh, a clickable uh, button here, first run. Then you double click on it. Then it will open, it will open. Then you can use this tool to locate your file. Depending on where you save your file, you use it and locate your file. In this case, our own is here. So we open our sample. We have a clear pick. This is our pick of interest. You see, it is uh, uh, very clear. There are some minor, minor picks here, uh, which are not our picks of interest. So we can ignore them. First of all, we can check. We can check the base of our pick of interest to see whether it has any interference with this uh, undesirable picks. We check for Sansi. So the baseline of our pick started from here and end to here. So obviously there's no any interference. You can see the unwanted pick is here at six point uh, around six point nine nine retention time like that so there's no interference with our pick of interest so we can just maintain the fix as it is but if we don't want this noisy picks baby appear we can reject them simply by right clicking on the chromatogram and click on manual integration I say a uh, function here reject fix click on reject fix then from where the interference fix started you click and then drag up to the fix you don't want, then click again. Then automatically they'll be deleted. Also for the second side, you do the same from here, from here to here, then they are already rejected. So you can see the only standing picks now is the pick of your interest. You can either copy, copy and paste in your document file, or you can export you can print the graph by exporting it to pdf so that it will appear as a pdf let's say we save it we save it now in a desktop we want to save it in a desktop hmm. then save so now our fig will be exported i mean our chromatogram is already exported this is our chromatogram so we can analyze the retention time is clearly indicated here 7.34 you have to clean the column and the system and the line again uh, from the sample so as we started we also end in the same way when we started we clean for 30 minutes right using a while 
changing the flow of the mobile pay so as to allow uh, get to right of all the uh, chemical compounds based on their chlority. So our mobile system is already water and methanol. That is our needed cleaning solvent. So as we did earlier, so we just change the flow here uh, from the way just make it 80 percent, 80 percent IKEA solvent and 20 percent organic solvent, and we click download. Download so it will clean for 10 minutes. We allow it to clean to run for 10 minutes at that flow rate. Then we change the flow rate to 50 percent methanol, 50 percent methanol of total of one ml flow and uh, 50 percent water that is distilled water and we click that lot we allow it to flow for 10 minutes then the last changes is uh, 20 percent aqueous solvent and 80 percent organic solvent so we click that lot this is the solvent we usually do at the last and we usually allow this solvent as a storage solvent that will preserve our, uh, our column until the next season. Why we also select it is because at this concentration of methanol, there is no chance of growth of microorganism. So we are very sure at that uh, solvent combination, our column will be pure and clean and free of any microbial contamination until the next usage. Then, having done that for 10 minutes, then we should um, stuffing the analysis completely. We already stuffed the flow. Now it is already at zero, zero flow, and it is, the pressure is uh, almost 0, 0, 0.00. So, uh, you let everything to be at zero zero Pre, uh, form pressure then you switch up the machine switch up the machine first make sure the functions turn to inactive you see from green now they become inactive so then you click file here then you click exit exit then it will ask you whether you want to save the changes you can see yes so that it set the last changes you made on your method then you you hear some sound indicating that the software is disconnected from the system then you click here again then you completely uh, shut down the software so from this stage you can remove your column open the column chamber gently you fold out your sample your column sorry Pull out the column, remove it, remove the offer line from the lower line, gently keep it down. Then you, that's a um, little device here that connect the two and seal the two lines, offer and lower line, to allow to, to prevent uh, contamination and to keep the line pure and safe from penetration of any unwanted uh, particles. Then, you close the chamber gently, seal the column. Seal the column. You immediately seal so that it won't dry off. Keep it in a safe place. Then, we shut down the system in a reverse way as we on it earlier so we are going to start sh by shutting down the communication bus then the UV detector then the column chamber then auto sampler then we switch off the form B then we switch off the form A and this this marks the end of our HPIC analysis for people.